question number 14. Two 1 ohm resistors are placed in a circuit with the two cells. Okay, so circuit is shown over here. What is the reading on the ideal emitter? So, this is a problem based on KVL. Little bit difficult problem, not so easy to solve, but let us solve this. Now, what we do is let me assume that this battery is giving out a current I1 here and this battery is giving out a current I2 over here. Now, these two join here and go here in this way I1 plus I2. Now, this I1, I2 will pass through this branch over here and once again when it comes here, I1 goes like this and I2 comes like this. So, we have drawn all the branch currents here properly. Okay. Now, what is it next we need to do? We need to apply the KVL. Now, if I apply the KVL to which branch, I will apply the KVL to this branch over here. Uh, this branch I will apply. Okay, Either this branch or this branch, any one of the branch I will apply. I will apply to this branch. This branch I will apply over here. So, when I do this, see, now uh, the current is going inside the battery from lower to higher uh, potential. So, you have 6 is equal to, okay, this current passes through this one. So, I will write this as a I1 plus I2 multiplied by 1, multiplied by 1 and there is no other resistor over here. So, this completes one loop, right. So, the total EMF in a closed circuit is equal to sum of the IR drops. That is your KVL. So, I have applied over here. Okay, first equation we have done. Okay, time is already up. Anyway, I will close this. So, this is equation number 1. Second equation. Now, what I do is I will apply to the complete circuit. Okay, where will I apply? I will apply to something like the full loop over here. Because I can apply to any loop. I need to just a closed loop over here. Right? So, I will apply to the full loop over here. So, when I do this, um, now what do I have here? This is here 6, this is 6 volt over here. 6 should now be equal to, now the current comes like this. Here it is I1 plus I2, I1 plus I2 into 1, right? The total current passing through this resistor into 1. And then I did not take up this one because I just need a closed loop. So, therefore, I took up like this and it comes over here plus I2 into 1 this is my second equation. So, therefore, now I have two equations. What are these equations? I will write it down once again. I1 plus I2 is equal to 6 and then I have I1 plus if I simplify this I2 plus I2 becomes 2 I2. 2 I2 is equal to 6. So what should I do? I will cancel. I will just solve the simultaneous, simultaneous equation. When I do this, I get I2 minus I2 is equal to 0 or I2 is equal to 0. When I put I2 equal to 0 in one of these equations, I will get I1 is equal to 6 amperes, which means uh, the current passing through this one is equal to 6 ampere. There is a current here is 6 ampere and here it is 0 over here. Okay? So, that is the right answer here is 6 ampere. Let us move on to the next one.